boxing was extremely um, popular. Thousands going to watch fights. Before my time, I've heard Barbadians have told me, Trinidadians, about Lance Gibbs's uncle, Lionel Gibbs. They said he was brilliant. He was brilliant. There was a whole generation of boxers that eventually the Cliff Anderson came out from. But I had opportunities to see young Joe Lewis, Len Houston, do and sing. And, and that period, one of the reasons why I was able to see that, because my father had employed two Garraways, Adrian Garraway and Calvin Garraway. And he, 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 they worked with him. And he would take me to see a card that one of them were on. Or he would take me to boxing in any case. Boxing was extremely uh, strong. I live very close around the corner from the Old Boston YMCA. The Old Boston YMCA was a hive of activity. I mean, when I tell you it bursting at the seams, people skipping in corners, people shadow boxing in the corner, they had a, a very rough ring made of rope, and people would be doing their rungs. And that wasn't only happening there, that was just one, one of the many. The national championships in those in those days, you had to fight, or box, I should say, three or four times before you get to the quarterfinal and the semifinals. The standard was extremely high. Boxing became even more popular when Randolph Turpin of Guyanese descent beat Sugar Ray Robinson at Earl's Court in London. You know, uh, there were others, of course. Um, uh, the Trinidadian who fought Archie Moore um, for the world title, light heavyweight. But boxing was very strong. 